Hello, I am Liam from Lazarus Personal Training and this is your lob-sided broom workout. So the equipment that you need for this workout is a broom that's hopefully sturdy and a couple of towels. The reason why I'm saying a couple of towels is because there are some exercises here that you might find quite easy and you need to load up with some extra towels and likewise there might be some exercises that you find quite challenging and therefore we can take the towels off and just use the broom. This is quite a good workout to keep progressing and coming back to. So the first time you might you do it, you might find it's a little bit hard to do it with any sort of weight onto it. Give it a couple of times of doing it and you might find that you're stacking every single towel that you've got in the house and the tea towels that you've got in the kitchen. So this is a really good one to come back to. As always, before we start these workouts, make sure you're properly warmed up in your hips. Make sure you can squat, that you can hinge, that you've got a full range of motion in your shoulder and that there aren't any aches or pains that you might be suffering with. In terms of the workout structure, we've got four blocks to go through and they are super set, basically meaning we've got one exercise, then the other exercise, and then I want you to rest. With that, we're looking for three rounds of each of these blocks. As always, there is a PDF that's attached to this description, so therefore you can download that and you've got that as a reference guide when you're going through this workout. Our A block starts with Romanian deadlifts and I want you to do 15 reps on each side, so that's 30 reps in total. When it comes to the Romanian deadlift, feet are planted into the ground, core's tight and the shoulders are set back and down. We're going to hinge from the hips so the hips are going backwards towards the wall like you're shutting a car door with your bum. Core stays tight, we go down to the knees and then stand up and squeeze the bum up at the top. Important thing to think about this in every exercise that we do, core has to stay tight and your shoulders have to stay level. And again we go 15 on one side, 15 on the other side. From there, we're going into an overhead press. So with this, if you've had a fair few towels on for the Romanian deadlift, you might need to take those off for this overhead press. From the shoulders, we're gonna press and extend overhead. And again, core stays tight. I want you to think about squeezing your bum and your bicep ends up by your ears. We're going 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. So that's 20 reps in total. Once you've done this overhead press, Rest for about 30 seconds and then go back into your Romanian deadlift and that is three sets. Our B block starts with some Zercher squats. Now a Zercher squat is where you hold a barbell into the crevice of your elbows. So what I want you to do with this is take your broom and then hug it tight to your body. You might need to use your fingers just to keep it in line but that's going to sit across your chest and it's going to be extended again away from your body. We're going to hit 15 reps on one side, 15 reps on the other side. Again, thinking about keeping the core tight, the feet planted and the shoulders set. If you need to, use a seat to sit down and stand back up to, so then you know you're getting a full range of motion. From there, we go into some bent over rows. Now with this, what I want you to do is have your arms out straight. We're going to be in that hinge position and then I want you to pivot on one arm, pulling the other arm up into your side. So if you have watched these videos before, that all fours bent over row position is pretty much what we're doing here. And again, we act on a pivot, the elbow comes up into the side, squeezing your upper back, pulling your shoulder blade back and making sure that it stays a controlled range of motion. That's 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. Our C block is all based around arms. Now with this, what I want you to do is have no rest. We're gonna go 10 reps of one exercise, 10 reps of the other exercise, then eight and eight, then six and six. Our first exercise is a broom bicep curl. So with this, arms are down by your side and they're both gonna come up together and then both come back down again. And again, we go reps on one side, reps on the other side, keeping the core tight and making sure that you're squeezing your bicep as hard as possible. From there, I want you to drop down to the floor and we're gonna go into some tricep skull crushes. Basically, arms are up towards the ceiling. We're gonna bend from the elbow and then extend again, squeezing the bicep. No, not squeezing the bicep, squeezing the tricep as hard as possible. And again, that goes 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. We come back up to the feet, go into bicep curls, eight, eight, down to the floor, eight, eight, up to standing, six, six, down to the floor, six, six, and then rest completely. Your arms should be pretty short after that. And then to finish off with, to get into a bit of core work and to bring the heart rate and the breathing rate up, we're gonna go into some Franken marches. Now, what are they? It's something that I've put my own little spin on. Basically, what I want you to do is bring the broom out in front of you. Arms are straight and locked, and then I want you to march on the spot. We're going to go 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side. The reason why this is a core exercise is because 
your shoulders are having to pull into position, it means that your core has to stay tight and brace so we don't lose our position. And because we're marching, we're bringing our lower abdomen and hip flexors into this. You should feel this burning through the abdomen, burning through the shoulders, and just getting your heart rate and breathing rate brought up. From there, we're gonna go into some oblique crunches. What I want you thinking about is if that brooms out to your left-hand side, you're gonna relax over to the left-hand side and then contract with the right hand side so you come into a straight line again so your body stays tight. We want our, uh, our spine to be in a straight line so our core has to contract and be in a straight line. If we just keep bending side to side, it doesn't really get that work. And especially if we're in an upright position, we want that core to be strong. That takes us through that entire workout. And again, like I said, you can come back to this workout, add some more towels and make that a little bit more difficult for yourself. These should be challenging not so much from a strength point of view, but from a stability point of view and from your core being active and working. And this is definitely something that you can take back into the gym once the gym's reopen again, because off-sided training is a really interesting modality in training in terms of just putting your body into different planes of motions that it might not be used to. If you've got any questions about this workout, please leave a comment, let me know, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you've liked it, please give it a like. Please share it with someone that might be struggling for ideas as to what they're doing at home with their workouts. If you really like this video, please subscribe to the channel. I've been Liam, I'm going to go put my broom away and I'll see you next time.